Hey you dress up superstars, welcome to Monday Motivation. My name is Natasha Althoff and I'm a Grand Prix dress up driver from Australia. And Monday Motivation is all about motivating you for the week ahead and getting you pumped and ready to ride and ready to rock and ready to create results. So firstly, I would just like to say happy Easter for last week and whee! we're in April. Now, you might think, yeah, so what, we're in April. Is your birthday in April? No, it's not. I'm pumped that we're in April because that means we're in the second quarter of the year. And there are only four quarters of the year and the fourth quarter only has two months in it because December doesn't count because December's just busy with Christmas. So there's only 11 months of the year in my mind to work towards my goals and get things rocking and rolling. And three are already gone. So 11 minus three, um, eight. 9, 10, 11, 8! <laughs> There's only 8 months left to get things done. I really like looking, I set monthly goals, I set weekly goals, I set hourly goals, I set yearly goals, all my goals. Um, but I really like reflecting on my 90 day goals. Going, okay, how did my quarter go? How was January, February, March? Did I achieve a lot? Did I achieve a little? What are the lessons I've learned? What are the things I need to do differently? What are the things that I need to keep doing because they're working? So today's quote is, don't be afraid to start over. It's a brand new opportunity to rebuild what you truly want. And I love this quote because a lot of people I know um, might set a goal or have a New Year's resolution and by the time we get to April, that's well and truly gone. <laughs> and if you're not at it, knowing the system on how to goal set and the system on how to keep going, um, that's pretty much what people do. I mean, you talk to any gym and the spike of gym memberships that increase in January is huge. Huge. But by April, how many of those people that joined in January are still going? And there's a very, very, very small percentage. So we need to look at what our writing goals were for the year and go, okay, why haven't we achieved them or why are we on track or not on track and what do we need to change? And a lot of people get scared going, oh, well, I set a goal and now the goal's changed so I failed or I've done something wrong. That's normal. <laughs> All my goals have to be reworked, um, especially if you haven't done something before. How do you then know how long it takes? When I was really, really young, really, really young, God, now I feel old. Um, <laughs> when I was 17 years old, we had to write in our year 12 um, uh, kind of got handbook thingy where we were going to be in 10 years. And I went, oh, okay, where am I going to be? Oh, well, um, and it was in 98 that I did this. And I went, oh, well, the year 2000, I'll have a gold medal at the Olympics. And the year 2004, I'll have another gold medal. So I wrote two Olympic gold ma medals, married to Phil Kelly um, and living on a beautiful horse property with on my horses. Um, did not know how long it took to get to the Olympics, wasn't even close to getting to Grand Prix, didn't even understand any about the process, so therefore I couldn't effectively set a goal, but I set the goal anyway. Now, many people will say to me, see, you didn't get your goal, you got to 2000 and you didn't get to the Olympics, so therefore, you know, why are you riding? Um, <laughs> because all that had to alter was the time frame, not necessarily the goal. So I want you to think about where you are in your riding. Also, maybe the goal does change. Um, I know there has been certain things in my life that I've gone, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that. And then I get close to that and then I go, actually, I want to do something different. And that's okay as well. So I would love for you this, this week for your writing to look at your writing goals, look at what you want to achieve for the year, look at what you've done in the last quarter, January, February, March, and just think of the lessons you've learned and what you need to do differently and what you need to do the same to get your writing goals for the rest of the year. If you need any help, I do have goal setting course that I would love for you to be a part of. The, the membership is closed and the diaries have all sold out but I am opening it up to just people that still want to rock and roll with 2016. So check out the website if you want more info on goal setting. Have an amazing week and um, I'm now going to do an extra video for the members. So talk to you guys soon. See you next Monday. Bye. <laughs>